Let's get a test of it, shall we? 162? 194? You know, after finding the Dark Lurker, that's quite a j- You don't need to rely on these silly little orbs to try and whittle me down, you can beat me- Uh-oh. Oh, for go- mm. She practically Nishandra smashed me there, she didn't even hit me with a scythe, she just batted me. Crushed me. With her fist. Did you do the third one? No, you're not. Don't know why either. Oh, but- Ugh! Bloody- Didn't even see she was doing that! Thought she was turning, not winding up for a- That's my fault. I hate the f- Ah! Uh, well, I hate that more than what I was about to say. Fuck's sake. What I actually hated before the death was the fact that when I do the heavier attack that does more damage, the second attack always misses. But hey! You live and you learn. And apparently, the death just helps you remember the lesson. I mean, you've made the terrible mistake of underestimating something that's small and insignificant. Weren't you want something that was small and insignificant? Were you not, in fact, a shard of Manis himself? And yet here you stand, all big and glorious and putting out more hex necklaces for me to run through and get rid of. I mean, I do love you so much. I mean, you're just the biggest bundle of joy. You're like a big, fluffy fucking kitten. Oh, God. No, 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 no. God, I haven't seen you do that for a while. And by for a while, I'm better. Oh, what the? Look, just for God's sake. That's it, my dear. Just keep doing that. The more lasers you put out, the more time you give me to whittle away at your skirt of skulls and bones. Even though the, the bone is a skull. I'm an idiot. You know, I have to wonder if you have lasers and orbs at your disposal, how did you ever have a problem killing anything and why did you need me to do it for you? How would Veldstadt have ever been a bloody obstacle for you? You could have just lasered him through the mist door and been done with it. Oh! Fuck! That's a good girl. You just keep on doing that and we'll all live happily ever after. Holy shit, how did that miss? Actually, how did that hit? Okay then! I'm guessing worse. I hate this boss, I hate her attacks, I hate the fact I have to prerequisitely fucking run through all those orbs to actually create some space to fight her, I hate the fact that this has an entire arsenal of horseshit thrown at me. Within seconds, it's so fun! Oh, I j okay, um, had a bit of a brain fart there, just stood still. I'm getting smarter. I mean, you really are quite hellish, aren't you? I mean, you must have been so good in a relationship. I mean, these hexes just tell me so much you don't want to get close to anybody. Vendring must have had such a loving relationship with you up to the point where he realised you were a dark, horrible whore. I mean, I'm sure you let him get oh so very close to you, seeing as you're a being of the Black and Abyss, and really, I mean, is emotion really something you possess? Oh, God. I mean, were you really that good of an actor? Were you were pretending to love him? I mean, I don't really imagine that something that lives within the darkness in the abyss all alone and lonely, th those two things kind of go without saying, but whatever, would be able to really pull off the whole loving wife thing. Just saying, either you're an Oscar-nominated actor, or Vendrick was kind of fucking stupid. <laughs> I am getting really sick of dying to that exact same thing, not the attack, my greed. I mean, if you have the possession of this ability to just spawn these things whenever the damn you please, I'd imagine you'd never really have to tell Vendrick, oh, sorry, not tonight, dear, I've got a headache. You can just put these fucking things up and go anywhere near you, would he? You know, you are a really hellish thing, I mean, I can never really understand you. If you convinced Vendrick to go across the sea to fight the giants, why didn't you just convince him to, well, fuck me, I don't know, go into the thing you wanted to get into, that way the door's open, you're right next to him, you follow him in, you kill him right there and then, and then you take the seat for yourself. Well, that might not have worked. Did you really need the whole, I need everybody to die beforehand? Fuck off with that, you explosive whore. You'd never really be the rightful monarch to the throne, so why the hell did you go about dispatching everything in such a justful way to make yourself ascend the throne in a supposedly honourable way from the outside looking in? I mean, it's clearly the flaw in your plan. If me, a little old nobody can just wander in from the buttfuck of nowhere, fall down a hole, not know who he is and ascend the throne just because I don't know. Like seriously, that's the wording of every bit you come across. You will stand in front of the whatever the hell and not really know why. If I can ascend the throne through that, why didn't you just kill Vendrick when he was sleeping and say, Oh dear, he's died of natural causes. Yes, I'm the queen of hellish torment, fuck shittery and bullshit. Now, so I guess I'll just go into the throne. Looks like I can finish my story while still losing all of that progress and being pretty fucking mad at myself for being stupid enough to not 
fucking roll. Seeing as you were the shard of a man, I'd think you'd want some form of male company, right? And I'm a human. That's the closest thing we can get to me being a part of you without me actually being inside of a part of you. So why the hell do we not go with that? I mean, I don't know what I'm trying to even propose here. I mean, I'm literally proposing. That really didn't go too well for Vendry. Don't really plan on making the same mistake as that man. I don't know. I mean, maybe if you just saw some goddamn sense and realized I'm not the worst thing in the world and you getting that throne actually wouldn't seemingly do you any good? I mean, the only thing you can seemingly do with the throne is sit on it, set yourself alight, and then say, yeah, have some more light, guys, on the house. Feel free. I mean, if you ascend the throne, what are you gonna do on it? Sit in it and make everything darker? Because you don't need to sit on it. It'll just do that without you going on it. That's the fucking point. Still don't get why it is you want the throne and what you have to gain by actually getting it. I didn't think you you were going to do the second, but you did, and now I'm dead. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm getting so fucking sick of making so much progress and then just dying, because, you know, if we accumulated all the damage we've done so far, do I, she'd be dead, and I would have won. But yeah, that's not the way it works, so I'm going to try again. What, are you going to put down more orbs? Of course you are. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you torture me? Why wouldn't you make it more impossible for me to even fucking do anything? <laughs> Can you tell how fucking sick I am? Of those orbs? Because if they're not the thing that's whittling away my health and making me heal, they're the thing that's distracting me, luring me away from attention on the big bad, and then I get killed oh so very fucking easily. Do you know what's brilliant about your plan, by the way, Nishandra? You thought of everything. You got me to do all your work for you, to tell me what to do, all the steps, all the stepping stones. It was brilliant. You know one thing you didn't think about? Getting the key to that big fucking door back there that only I can possess, and I will never be able to die, so you will never be able to get it from me. How the fuck did you plan to get into that door without the key itself? Why did you not think that maybe that's the one step you should have taken to do yourself? Because, fun fact, you stupid negligent whore, as soon as I pick up anything in this world, it's mine and mine forever, because I am incapable of staying dead. And seeing as you don't have the capacity to loot my corpse as it fucking disintegrates as soon as I die, you didn't really think that through, did you? That's the equivalent of a fucking burglar preparing for every single owner of the house to be gone and put all their stuff right near the door and leave yourself no way of getting the fucking to steal it. That is what you've done, Ishandra. You are really, really dumb. I really would have thought that that was the one thing you would have thought through. No, 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 not at all. You thought it through about as much as letting Vendrick just wander the fuck off into a crypt. I mean, you pretty much made him your lapdog, and then you lost the leash on him. Clever. I think what might make it worse is the fact that you sent me on a journey to go kill a whole bunch of shit that's gonna make me stronger and then me more of an obstacle for you than the obstacles I was getting fucking rid of. You didn't think anything through, did you? Your plan was really flawed from the ground up, and seeing as you were underground for a goddamn long time, I would have thought you had time to actually think this through. And when I say you were underground the entire time, I, I actually meant Manis. That wasn't really you. Oh, good AoE. AoE that makes me roll into other AoE. <laughs> oh, man. We heard you liked annoying bullshit, so we put annoying bullshit next to the annoying bullshit, so when you're evading the annoying bullshit, you get hit by annoying bullshit. Yeah, that's pretty much this boss fight in a nutshell when you account for all the hexes. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for some lasers of doom. But these, um, these things that just keep sapping my health over and over again, that's not really fun. That's not really making it any more enjoyable for me. I mean, sure, there's an argument to be made that it makes it challenging. But, you know, getting your dick out of a bucket of rusty nails is also challenging. That doesn't mean I'm going to try fucking doing it. Says the guy who's been doing explicit challenge runs of the exact game he's playing and bitching about. Hmm. That's real consistency. How dare you make this challenging while I go ahead and make infinite more challenge for myself by handicapping myself every single time. Yeah. I'm probably the worst candidate to ever complain about poor fucking challenge. Do the range attack. Go on, do it. Can we have to, just want to have a conversation? We just fucking stood there staring at each other for a long time. You, you fancy me? Is it the butthole face? I can, I can change that if you like. You know, most people aren't really attracted to that. Then again, most people aren't a fucking shard of darkness and are trying to destroy the world. So maybe you're attracted to the ugly things. I haven't even questioned why you look like this. I mean, I know I understand that you weren't what you seemed on the initial throne that was pretty much worthless. I mean, why are there so many thrones in the castle? There was a throne room as I walked in, with two seats, seemingly for you and Vendrick, that were never used, and then got invaded by a couple of pursuers, because apparently there's more than fucking one of those, four to be precise, there's even one in the smelter demon room. And then there's a throne you were sitting on, which is again seemingly worthless. Why were there so many thrones in the castle alone, and yet none of them had any meaning? 
at all, had no value to them. If VAR TV's interpretation of the law is to be believed, then that throne over there wasn't even from me, that's what they brought back from the land of the giants. At least Quinn was up front about his bullshit, he just kept himself underground right next to the goddamn kill. That was it. No facade, no bullshit, no having an odd affair marriage fake relationship with somebody. Let I me mean, just think for a moment, if you will. An entity that was seemingly a big enough problem as he was initially, Manis, was destroyed and then broke up into itty bitty pieces presenting this bitch. Imagine if every single shard of him ended up becoming an equal problem, if you would. Please, imagine that. Imagine a world where every shard of a previous disgusting being ended up becoming something infinitely worse. It's like the fucking chaos shit from Sonic. And they called it Puppy Love, because you've been killed by a butt-faced motherfucker in Havel's with a ladle and nothing else. <laughs> oh, great. I'm really impressed. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I don't like to take my own whole all too much, but uh, this, this I'm proud of. And for the most part, I ended up just arguing with Nishandra about her lore and origins. I'm not too sure how you're going to enjoy this one. I beat the boss legitimately. And, well, I'm not saying there's no rage, but the majority of my stuff wasn't so much of an insult as you horrible, hellacious whore as it was arguing the origin and logic of her plan. I don't know, I'm just rambling for the sake of it. And in the background of this rambling, you will be able to see the uncut version of me beating the shit over sped up like fuck, because it was really long. It was really long. So, yeah, there you go. I beat her. She's dead. Didn't cheat. Didn't summon. Didn't even consider it for a moment. And bear in mind, despite the fact I used the Ring of Binding, my health was consistently being sapped by each and every orb. So, there you go, the final boss, even though it isn't all that hard when you're actually playing it properly, is now beaten. Now the final bosses for this run, the Ancient Dragon and the Vendrick, basically, you know the thing that's going to take a fucking year for me to fight? Mm -hmm. Still got those to look forward to, he says in the biggest fucking quotation marks of his life. <laughs> Though I'm sure you'll love every second of it, you sadistic Bastards. <laughs> That's actually why I love you. Have fun. I won't. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, then don't forget to leave a like to broadcast the fact that you'd like to see more from this specific series. And if you enjoyed it to the point where you'd actually want to see more from this series, or this channel in general, then don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future installments. And should the sub boxes be failing you, as they do for most, then feel free to bookmark my video page and check back daily, as that's how often I provide content to you. Or alternatively, you you could follow me on any respective social media service you should desire as I update them all regularly with my videos as this site isn't actually known to be good at doing its job. So as always, your viewership and YouTube support will always be infinitely appreciated. And assuming you do indeed want to see more from me and the content I provide, then I will see you in the next video.